a couple of weeks ago, I was in America, and while I was there, I had the opportunity to meet with a lot of different churches and individuals about a maze house. And while I was talking to them, I realized that a lot of them had some similar questions about a man's house. Like, why did we start it? And why did we have to do it so fast? And why are Hunter and I not the house parents? And while I was traveling home, I kind of thought that perhaps you guys have some of the same questions too, but maybe you don't have an outlet to ask us these questions. So then I thought about writing a blog and writing some of the questions out and then answering for them for you. So. Here I am making a video blog for you. How exciting, right? So, today I'm making a video blog where I'm going to answer the 10 top questions that I received while I was in America. Questions like, why did we start Emmaus House? Um, are our teens fully sponsored? And are we going to allow short-term missions to come to Emmaus House? And what's the future plans for Emmaus House? And so much more. Question number one, why did we start Emmaus House? So back in February of 2013, we received notice from IBESR, which is Haiti's version of social services, that we had to remove all of our teenagers from the orphanage who were 18 years and older. That meant that we had 17 kids from our orphanage that had to be removed. And they pretty much told us that they didn't care what we did with them, we could make a house for them, we could track down family members if we wanted to, or we can put them on the streets. And we really kind of panicked. We really didn't know what we were going to do with them. Um, we loved these kids so much, and we knew we had to come up with a plan for them. Um, most of them didn't have family that they could go home to, and most of them, actually none of them, had finished their education. They didn't have the life skills they needed to go out and take care of themselves. They didn't have um, job training to go make jobs for themselves. Um, it would be impossible for them to go find a job. So we knew that we had to come up with a plan for them in order for them to succeed in life, in order for them to have hope. And so this is where we created the idea for Mesos. Question number two, why did we have to start things so quickly when we started Emmaus House? Um, Back in February of 2013, when IBSR approached us with letting us know that we had to move our 17 kids out of the orphanage, um, they gave us a six month notice, meaning that we had six months to come up with a plan and get our kids out. So we didn't have a lot of time. We didn't have a lot of time to fundraise. We didn't have a lot of time to plan. We didn't have a lot of time to raise awareness. Um, that's why we had to move fast. We did the best we could with the time that we had, um, but that's, that's pretty much why we had to do things so quickly. Question number three, why do Hunter and I not live at Emmaus House as the house parents? Back during the planning stages, when we were first deciding how we were going to do Emmaus House, the board and Hunter and I originally planned that we would be the house parents. And the more we prayed about that decision, the more we thought about it and studied what would be best for our teenagers, the more we realized that that would be doing them a disservice. The reason being is that we want to raise our teenagers to thrive in Haitian society. That means that we want them to learn how to budget Haitian money. We want them to learn how to cook Haitian food. We want them to learn how to manage a Haitian home. We want them to learn how to um, have a success, successful Haitian marriage and to raise Haitian children. And we want them to learn how to be leaders in the Haitian church. And the list can go on and on and on. And although those are things that Hunter and I witness every day in Haitian culture, those are things that Hunter and I don't know how to do because we are not Haitian and we were not raised to be Haitians. And Hunter and I are really good at being Americans, and we are learning every day how to teach our children how to be like Americans, um, even though they are Haitians um, by birth. But we do not know how to raise Haitian children to become Haitian adults. Those are skills that we do not know how to do. And so if we moved into a Maya's house and tried to raise these teenagers to be adults, we would end up raising them to be American adults because that's all we know how to be. 
Number four, what is our association with the Capuchin Children's Home? Obviously, all of our teenagers who now live at Emmaus House have grown up most of their lives, some of them all of their lives, at the Capuchin Children's Home. Um, our, our association with them now is that we have agreed that whenever a child who lives in the program at the orphanage, when they turn 18, they will move up to Emmaus House and join our program at Emmaus House. Question number five. Will our teenagers at Emmaus House be able to go to college? We would love for our teenagers to be able to go to university. Um, some of them are really, really intelligent and do really well in school, but obviously school costs a lot of money. And some of them do really well in school and some of them have really big dreams. And although we at Emmaus House would love to fulfill their dreams of higher education, we obviously can't do this without your support. Question number six, are our teenagers fully sponsored at Emmaus House? No, we have 17 teenagers living in Emmaus House and actually only two of them are fully sponsored, which is not good. We really need sponsors at Emmaus House. It costs $250 a month to sponsor a teenager at Emmaus House, but we aren't asking that of every sponsor. We are asking every sponsor to give what they can give a month. If you can give $20 a month, we want you to sponsor $20 a month. If you can give $50 a month, sponsor $50 a month. If you can give $250 a month, sponsor $250 a month. Um, we need all kinds of sponsors. And we have 17 kids that really could use sponsors. And sponsorship helps us with food and water for every month. It helps us cover education costs. It helps us cover medical needs for all the teenagers, and it helps us cover a program called the Behavior Level System, where we um, kind of do a grading system with our teenagers every week on their behavior and their um, work around the house and their participation during devotionals and how they performed in school during the week and various other things. And dependent on how they were throughout the week, they receive a weekly allowance. And so the sponsorship program helps to cover that. And we also encourage you to have a relationship with the teenager that you sponsor as well. So the sponsorship program is really beneficial, um, obviously towards our budget, um, but it's really encouraging to our teenagers. Um, also, just to know that they have someone special in the States praying for them, um, encouraging them and just someone special for them in the program. So if you're interested in sponsoring, please email me today at kittrellsinhaiti at gmail.com. Number seven, will we allow short-term mission teams to come visit at Emmaus House? Yes, but we're going to be very intentional on who we allow to come to Emmaus House and what they're going to be allowed to do at Emmaus House. The reason for this is that our goal at Emmaus House is that we have 17 teenagers who we want to raise to be thriving adults here in Haiti. And anybody that we allow to come join us at Emmaus House, we want them to help us in helping our teenagers work towards that goal. So because of this, we are very intentional and very picky, obviously, about who we want to bring into the home and who we want to be around our teenagers and helping them reach that goal. So if you are interested in coming to Emmaus House for a day visit or to bring a team to work on a short-term mission trip, we ask that you contact our board of directors um, and email them today about a visit. Question number eight, what are our long-term goals for Emmaus House? Well, for starters, we really want to become more sustainable. Um, we currently are renting a house for $10,000 a year. Um, that was a short-term solution, um, but it's not a very strong long-term plan. Um, and we had to do that because like I had mentioned earlier in the video, we were told back in February that we had six months to get our teenagers out of the orphanage. And so we obviously didn't have time to raise funds and build a house for our teenagers. So we had to look really fast for a house and raise the funds and, and just rent a property. Um, but that's not very sustainable for the long term. And so we really 
would like to eventually find a piece of property and build a place of our own, um, a place where we can raise our teenagers um, as they make the transition into adulthood, a place where we could train them with job skills um, needed, a place where we could teach them dis different life skills, um, a place where we could train them in the word, um, and provide them all the opportunities they need as they prepare to become young adults in Haiti. Question number nine, is Emmaus House fully funded? No. Um, this kind of goes back to the very beginning of the video where I had said that we only had six months to move out our teenagers from the orphanage. Um, unlike most organizations, we didn't have a whole lot of time to plan and to fundraise and to raise awareness for our organization. And because of this, um, we never really raised a whole lot of funds. Um, we were able to raise exactly what we needed for the time to get started and to kind of get our feet wet. Um, but we have really just lived month by month um, as time has gone by. And God has definitely blessed us with our daily bread. Um, but we are not fully funded. Um, we currently intake about half of our monthly budget, um, but that's about it. So in other words, we definitely need supporters. We need child sponsors. We need monthly donors. We need people to um, come alongside us and support Emmaus House. So if that's something you're interested in, please um, contact one of our board of directors or you can contact Hunter and me directly. Um, another reason I think why we're not fully sponsored, um, and please, if this comes across harsh, um, I'm sorry, but teenagers are kind of hard to sell. Um, when Hunter and I worked at the orphanage, I could post a picture of one of our little kids on Facebook and say what their need was, and within a minute, I would have that need met. Um, kids are cute, and people want to help little kids. But teenagers, not always so cute. And I can't count the number of times that I've had to explain to people in America why our teenagers still need help. Um, I've had so many people ask me why our teenagers still need to be supported. They just expect that because our teenagers are 18, 19, 20, that they should be prepared to be going out and finding jobs, to be going out and getting an apartment, to be providing for themselves now, that we don't need to be helping them anymore. They should be helping themselves by now. Um, but that's not the case here in Haiti. Um, these teenagers are not even finished with high school. They're not ready for real life. They don't know how to take care of themselves. And that leads us to our last question. How can you help Emmaus House? If you have ever met one of our teenagers, if you have ever met Julie or Evelyn or Lobe or Felice or Jenny or any of them, then you know that they need our help and you want the best for their future. Um, we really need supporters at Emmaus House. We really need you to come alongside us and help us to ensure that our teenagers have the best hope for their futures. Um, we really need you to, one, spread the word for Emmaus House, um, to tell all of your friends and your family about Emmaus House um, if you believe in this ministry. Second, we really need supporters. We really need um, more sponsors for our teenagers. We really need more churches to be committed to our ministry financially. Um, we really need individuals to be um, committed financially to our ministry. Um, we also have a lot of um, big uh, projects that we need, um, like uh, we really need a vehicle, actually, at Emmaus House. Um, and there are other different uh, just one-time donation projects that we really need to be um, taking care of here at Emmaus House, that if you are interested in that, then you can connect with, with me and Hunter and, and inquire about those as well. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, we have a lot of future goals, um, like becoming more sustainable and building one day. And we need to start saving for that and preparing for that. And we would love for you to team with us and, and prepare for that as well. So there are a lot of things that we need here at Emmaus House, and we can't do any of that without your help. 
And we know that God is behind Emmaus House. We know that this was his plan, and we know that he has plans for all of our teenagers. And we would love for you to join us and to join him in all that he is going to do for us and for our teenagers. And we are excited to see um, what all of those plans are, and we would love for you to join us as well. Thanks.